Hello everyone, Shabby Mihat and welcome back to another match in the knockout stages. Today we have got the first of our triple threats. This is the three men that finished third in groups A, B and C. Noam Dar, Killian, Dane and Miro. Now this is a freeway elimination. Um, so both people who lose the match will have to be pinned individually. Or submitted. No disqualifications, no countouts. So this is a great opportunity for one of these three guys to move through. And we know who they've got in the next round. I won't say just in case you haven't seen it, but it is the winner of the match between Reza and Drew McIntyre. So Noam Dar finished third in Group A, which was surprising because that means he was able to he finish ahead of Carl Gotch with the win over Carl Gotch, which was surprising. Killian Dane got one win in his group as well, defeating Fabian Eichner. However, Miro finished joint top of Group C, but because of the triple threat buffer match we had, Miro was the first man eliminated, means he was given the effective third position in the group. And here we go then. Big chance for Miro. I feel like Miro is the big favourite for this match. And he has a chance to pick up quite a few points here as well, to be honest. As Dane rocking Miro with a big right hand in the gut and now just launches him across the ring. Noam Dar is sort of... Well, he's definitely struggling with the size, isn't he, compared to his two opponents. These two opponents are a little bit bigger than him. A little bit bigger. Noam Dalo has to use his speed and his agility. However, both Killian Dane and Miro also well known for their agility, for their size at least, anyway. And here we go. See Noam Dar trying to go. Oh, Noam Dar going for the low blow, of course. Completely legal in this triple threat. If Noam Dar gets this, that'd be insane. Killian Dane broke it up for some bizarre reason. Surely it's in Dane's interest to get Miro eliminated as early as possible. Got Noam Dar just swinging the fists at Miro, and Noam Dar doing outstandingly well. But we've seen that so far, haven't we, in this tournament? We've seen so many underdogs somehow manage to topple bigger names. I mean, who would have thought that Noam Dar would have defeated Carl Gotch? Oh, big clothesline there by Miro and drops into the pin on Dar for the one. The, no, only a one count. I don't think Miro was expecting more of that, but Dane just takes him up into a nice little powerbomb then a jump in elbow drop as well. Dane now taking Noam Dar up. Dar able to escape up the back. Noam Dar really impressing me here today. Nice running drop kick into the corner. And now just dropping into the choke on Killian Dane. Miro, big spine buster, flattens Noam Dar. Drops into the pin, middle of the ring for the one, the two. Only a two count. And a big Machka kick right into the face of. Killian Dame, instead of going for the pin, he's decided to go after Noam Dar again. I think Miro's just happily just taken out both of these guys. He's he's happy to consider this a two-on-one Miro. And again, that big boot in the face on Killian Dane. And Noam Dar caught Miro in the side of the head with that punch, but I think it's a bit mad. If I was Noam Dar, I would have gone for the pin by now. But Noam Dar stalking Miro. Jumping in Seguri. There's the pin. One, two. <sighs> wow, that would have been insane if that had happened. Killian Dane now with the X-Plex. One, two. Only a two count. And Dane now bringing Miro back up to a standing base.
Still only a two count, Miro able to escape. Miro now taking Killian Dane down, stamping on the arm. Big elbow in the spine. I thought he might be considering game over then, but Noam Dar comes flying in with a forearm. Oh! Noam Dar just got his head kicked clean off of his shoulders. And Miro takes out his first casualty of the match in the shape of Noam Dar. So Noam Dar has now been eliminated from this tournament. Or we would give Miro one point, which does move him up to zero. Of course, he wasn't in the best position when this first started. Noam Dar loses a point as well as Miro stalking. And a big kick once again. I thought Dane might have caught him, but no, Miro catches it. And Miro walks straight through Killian Dane as well. And Miro with both eliminations is going to move on to the next round of the knockout stages. That means that Miro has actually now pushed himself into the positives. Now he's up to plus two. So he's going to go from 486th up to 126th. He's just gained like 360 positions with that match. It was a massive match and a massive victory for Miro. So Miro, like I said, will get the victor of the match between Rezar and uh, Drew McIntyre. That was it. So I was confused in my notes there for a second, whose name was where. Um, but there we go, Miro wins. That means that both Killian Dane and Noam Dar are eliminated. There we go. What a match and what a win for Miro. Right. We have one more match lined up for you then a little bit later on today. The other triple threat from the other side of the brackets. Groups D, E and F, Marcel Bafau, Alistair Black and Finn Balor. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you have, like, subscribe, leave a good stuff and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.